we're at the great stuff now. Hello and welcome to this season's 8 Owner Battle of the Hockey Pool Guides. Stats and calculations are all well and good, but why not simulate every scenario? That's what we'll do. This year we start with 5 qualifying groups of 8 guides. The top 2 in each grouping plus the 6 next best guides will move into the semifinals. The top two in each semifinal automatically move into the finals, and they are followed by the three next best guides. One final spot remains open. All the guides that did not make the finals on their first attempt will be given another chance through our repechage. There will be four qualifying groups. The top two from each group and the eight next best guides move into the repechage semifinals. The best two from each Repechage semifinal plus the four next best lists move into the Repechage finals, where they have one last chance to earn that eighth spot in the main event finals. Then we run one last set of simulations to crown our eight owner Battle of the Hockey Pool Guides champion. Jumping right into the first, Blue Qualifying Group. A change from past season videos, this is going to be more visual. Here we have the Slate Keeper, Chrome Aggregate Projections, Le Poole, Datsik to Zetterberg, Steve Cheat Sheet, Fresh Sheets, Hockey Draft CA, and Yahoo. The winner of the group was the Slate Keeper, with wins in more than 54% of all scenarios. Look at all those wins in the 25 to 30 draft range. Fresh Sheets came in second with 29%. Sadly, everyone else in this group failed to move on. The green group was very closely contested, but won ultimately by McKean's Hockey. Ultimate Pool Preview did come in second. Joining them in the semis are Dom Luchizen and NHL's Pete Jensen. We find the orange grouping also produced four guides which made it into the semis. Pool Hockey cruised to victory while Scott Cullen took second. The Hockey Fanatic brought in enough for third, and Eric Tuhachik squeezed in fourth. A huge margin of victory was established by Steve Laidlaw in the Purple Qualifying Group. A distant second went to the Daily Faceoff, and the Hockey News managed to secure a wildcard spot into the semifinals. The last qualifying group, in Yellow, saw another dramatic set of results. This time Left Wing Lock was the leader with a vast number of victories in the short drafts. They were followed by ESPN and Pool Expert. Here's a quick rundown of all the guides that made it into the semifinals with their win totals after their qualifiers. Is your favorite in this list? The first semi was very close. Top spot went to left wing lock, second to the slate keeper, third place was not that far off and was earned by Dom L from The Athletic, and his co-worker Eric Duhatchik managed enough wins to creep into the finals too. Only two guides moved on to the finals from the second semifinal, and they did it in pretty good fashion. With more than 50% of the victories, McKean's Hockey took first, and Steve Laidlaw came away with second. Thus, these are the seven guides which earned a spot into this season's eight owner finals. Everyone else will be given one more shot, but they have to run the gauntlet of the repershage. Listed are all the guides that didn't succeed on their first go. One note, the Droit Le Soleil was originally slated to participate, but when we put their guide in the scenario generator, they could not produce enough draft picks to go beyond 30 rounds. They were replaced in the main event by last year's rankings by points. We attempted to give them another chance through the repechage, but again they fell short. This time, Number Fire took their spot. Even though they had no wins, we prefer to use actual guides and lists. The first repechage qualifier saw five guides survive, although three won less than 10% of the total number of scenarios. Fresh Sheets was in control in each draft position. The Daily Faceoff was able to carve out enough for second place. Pool Expert, Scott Cullen, and the Sports Forecaster were lucky to survive. A very similar story occurred in the second repechage qualifying group. Yahoo crushed the field with more than 64% of all the victories. Second went to Chrome Aggregate Projections, and third was given to Dauber Hockey. The next grouping saw Pool Hockey run away with first place. Second place was taken by Dauber's Monthly 300. Wildcard positions into the Repressage semifinals were given to ESPN, and Tracks, and Apples and Genos. And the fourth qualifier had yet another big blowout, this time by Steve's cheat sheet. It seems that either you were on the money or you were out the door in the early stages of the Repressage. Lapool nabbed second place and Rotowire placed themselves in third. 
The lists from these publications were good enough, some more than others, to make the repertoire semifinals. Which ones will survive to make it to the next stage? Fresh Sheets displayed their dominance yet again with another large set of victories. Chrome Aggregate, Pool Expert, and Pool Hockey also moved into the repertoire finals with them. The other semifinals saw Steve's Cheat Sheet, The Daily Faceoff, ESPN and Dabra Hockey make it through. Steve's cheat sheet obliterated the field in the 30 round drafts. The repechage final had an extreme range to it. The automatic qualifiers obviously can do well, but they have exposed flaws, otherwise they wouldn't be in the repechage. The wild cards are less wild, except for pool hockey. In the end, it was Steve's cheat sheet which returns to the main event finals. They can thank their lucky stars for their performance in the 25 and 30 round drafts. So our final grouping is set. Who will take the title? Will it be one of the top semifinalists? How about a wild card lurking in the background and is waiting to pounce? Maybe Steve's cheat sheet needed a warm up of four battles? The tale of the tape shows why both Steve Laidlaw and McKean's Hockey are front runners. Laidlaw is very consistent and grows stronger in the maximum drafts whereas McKean's is better in the 10 to 20 draft lengths and has come in dead last fewer times. Continuing, left wing lock is consistent across all draft lengths but doesn't seem to get into high gear. The slate keeper did crack the 40,000 and 50,000 win levels. Low win rates in the shorter drafts though. Ultimate pool preview earned the best missed opportunity scores for the 200, 300 and top 400 players and it shows in the 25 to 30 round drafts, but oddly enough, it not in the max draft lengths. Dom L won three Kumite belts for very long drafts, and their record in the maximum draft lengths is far better than any other draft length. And our final two participants in these finals, Eric Duhatchik and Steve's cheat sheet, will have to pray for some luck. Remember, Steve's cheat sheet needed to fight through four battles to generate all those wins. They did win a Kumite Grey Belt though. Our results will come up next, but we take a 15 second break to let you decide who will win. We are still looking for two guides to complete our collection for the 2021-22 season. If you have them, please contact us. In 8th, it was our repechage winner, Steve's Cheat Sheet. Not surprisingly, Eric Duhatchik was next. Ultimate Pool Preview slotted into 6th place. A bit of a shock came when Left Wing Lock fell to 5th place. And Steve Laidlaw continued the surprises by going 4th. Dom Lucizen landed in 3rd, which means your 2021-22 8 owner battle of the Hockey Pool Guides champion is... McKean's Hockey. It was a two-horse race, and they outnosed the Slate Keeper by a little bit more than 7,000 wins. Congratulations to McKean's Hockey, as they now have earned two of these titles. The last one was 10 seasons ago. This graph clearly demonstrates how McKean's was able to come back and take the title away from the Slate Keeper. McKean's wrestled second place away from Dom L and Steve Laidlaw by the 25-round drafts, and then they stepped it up to take the lead at the very end. Left Wing Lock had the second best start, but couldn't do much after the 15 round drafts. These scenarios ran in McKean's favor. The split between Steve Laidlaw, the Slate Keeper, and Dom L in the 15 round drafts was enough for McKean's to exploit. As we have done in the past, we quickly look at the overall draft numbers by the percentage of victory from each pick. Choosing first gave the best odds at winning. It seemed to be very difficult to produce wins when picking third or fourth. And we close out this video by showing you our wall of winners next. But stay alert for our nine owner battle of the hockey pool guides, which will be coming out soon. Stay safe, everybody.